This episode is sponsored by SmartVestor. Connect with an investing pro for free at RamseySolutions.com slash invest. You're listening to Ramsey Everyday Millionaires, where we talk investing, retirement, building wealth, and outrageous generosity. Dylan is with us in Salt Lake City. Hi, Dylan. How are you? Good. How are you, Dave? Thank you for taking my call. My pleasure. What's up? So my wife and I have been married for three years now. We've been going to school, going to college. She graduated this past May with an engineering degree, and I graduate this upcoming May with an engineering degree. We're 100% debt-free. We made it through college with no student loans. Um, and we've been able to save about $60,000 that we've earmarked for a home. Um, and we're curious as to whether or not now is the time to buy. With interest rates so high and with with just everything going on in the market, uncertainty. Um, yeah. So what's your, what's your advice for me or other questions you have? You're going to, you know, you're going to stay in that area. Yes, we are. Okay. So you get, um, I mean, you get out of school and you're going to take a job and that's not going to change the real estate decision. Yes. Okay. All right. I mean, I can believe that. I just wanted to double check. And you have zero debt of any kind of 60 grand for a down payment. Zero debt of any kind, 60 grand for a down payment and about 30,000 in retirement accounts and two years funded HSA account. Good for you. Okay. Well done. Well done. Okay. Uh, I would buy now, uh, regardless of interest rates. Uh, Here's what I don't know uh, 12 to 24 months from now. I don't know what interest rates will be. I do know house prices will have gone up seven to eight percent a year during those that time. Okay. House prices are continuing to go up in in, in and uh, regardless of interest rates because there continues to be a shortage of housing versus the number of buyers looking. Now, so mm-hmm. the the in other words, the strategy is we're, we can predict that the cost is going to go up. So we might as well get in now. We don't know if rates are going to go down or not. So waiting on them to come down, they might not. Yeah. There's no guarantee they're going to come down. Yeah. Um, and uh, they, they, they sat at six for a decade before. And then in 2008, yeah. they were artificially driven down because of the housing crisis. And the government just straight up manipulated the market and drove the rates all the way down to about 1% there for a minute, and then up to two, then up to three, and then back down to two and a half, and then up to three. And it sat there for a while and and then jumped up just recently, you know, to six and seven again. And uh, everybody's freaking out like that's a high interest rate. But over the scope of history, it's not really a high interest rate. So what I would say is this. We know house prices are going to go up, so let's buy. If interest rates go down, which we don't know, you can always refinance. You're not stuck, but you are stuck yeah. with house prices. Yep. So buy now. Okay. Another question for you is, in that case, say we have, we buy in the next six months, how much house can we afford? Our income last year was about 80, 80K. We have a baby on the way due, in, due early next year, so my wife won't be working as much. Um, but when the baby comes in, I'll be working full time. So that's kind of the projected income is about 80 K a year. Yeah. You, uh, a fourth of your take home pay on a 15 year fixed rate mortgage is our suggestion. And that's going to mean you're probably going to buy less house than you thought you were going to buy before this call, but that's okay. It's your first house. You're in your early twenties. You got time. You're both engineers. You're both working someday. You can easily move up in house later. So again, I would get into the game. Uh, the only thing that's now making me hesitate is I don't know if I'm going to move a pregnant woman in her third trimester. That sounds like a hell on earth to me. I don't think I want to do that. Yeah. But, um, but you know, you might, I don't know. Uh, the further along in the pregnancy, she is the less likely I am to buy until after the baby. So just because it's, you know, it's hard on her. I mean, really she's got, y'all got enough on your plate without dealing with hanging curtains for God's sakes. So, um, yeah, it's okay to not buy. There's no sin that says you have to buy immediately, but you know, we were discussing interest rates and prices a minute ago. Now we're talking about your life. So I might wait till after the baby comes my way to year, uh, just, just for, just for comfort, you know, 
Uh, there's nothing that says you have to do it now. And you have plenty of time, and we, you'll both have great careers. You'll both make great incomes. You're going to be debt-free millionaires in your 30s, no matter which of these you do, whether you buy before or after the baby. But a 15-year fixed where the fourth of your take-home pay is going into the payment, and you'll be right on track, get that house paid off or move up later on when everybody's back working and all that kind of stuff. And the other thing, too, is I think he's short changing himself as to what their income could be. I know his wife's going to back off a little bit. He'll be coming out into the market. I think it's very possible if they wait a year that they might find that their income is is higher. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's very possible. Might put you into a different house. Um, if, if interest rates stay the same and house prices went up 7% during that year, which is probably what's mm-hmm. going to happen, um, you know, the only thing that's really going to push interest rates down that I can see today is the fact that we're going into a presidential election year. Mm-hmm. And generally, the sitting party will try to drive rates down to say, look what I did. That's correct. Um, and we all know that, well, why weren't you doing that two years ago then? You know, I mean, it's that, there's always that. But um, I, I don't... I wouldn't hold your breath because I I, uh, I am, Jerome Powell's gone on record as saying... If, when we've got this uh, inflation rate where it is, and it's still a little higher than they expected when, when, when July report came in, and so unemployment's still very, very low. I well, would expect him to raise it a couple more times. They're just screwing with it just to prove that I mean, it's right. not. They're, uh, it's a whole other discussion. They're trying to trying to use a hammer on a Phillips head screwdriver, but they're just because they don't know what the heck they're doing. But the, it's a disaster. But anyway, all of that to say, I don't know that you're going to see interest rates come down. So you, you just decide in the scope of your life with a baby on the way when we're going to buy. Thanks for tuning in to Ramsey Everyday Millionaires. To learn more about investing, visit RamseySolutions.com slash investing or click the link in the show notes. Ramsey Solutions is a paid non-client promoter of participating pros. Learn more at RamseySolutions.com slash smartvester.